What's up? I'm Ashley Moe, Hall Student Association's Communication Coordinator, and with us today is Amy Fletcher, Manager of the Classification Services, and today we'll be talking about the classification reports that are sent out once you classify. Welcome, Amy. Okay, so, to start off, um, give the importance of why to classify in that program. So, classification is an unbiased evaluation of the animals in your herd, and that can be used for marketing or breeding purposes. Great. Um, and so, there's different um, options when you classify, and those can be found on our website. Um, and so, once you classify, once you have a classifier come out to your herd to evaluate your animals, um, reports are sent out. Um, and so that was started about a year ago, right? The, yes. The right, five reports? Yep, just over a year ago. Okay, a um, year ago. Why were these uh, reports first sent out and why were they created? These reports begin as an added benefit to herds that are classifying. Mm -hmm. We wanted to give people more information than just the herd report mm -hmm. after they've classified and see the value right. in classification. Um, and so what are those reports, um, what are the reports? So there's five reports. Mm -hmm. and there's, to begin with, there's the classification summary, there's the linear summary, mm -hmm. the mating advisor, the sire classification comparison, and the classification benchmark summary. All right, so the classification summary is a summary of that day's classification. It includes all the animals that were evaluated during that specific classification. Uh, it's the number of animals that are evaluated, the number of required and optional animals that were evaluated that day, the percent registration and the percent of registered animals with scores. And then it's broken down in first, second, and third plus lactations. Uh, there's the average final scores. You have the breakdown of number of excellence, very goods, good pluses, goods, fairs, and poor animals, and the percentages of each that were scored. Uh, there's also a BAA analysis, which is you have the average BAA for the animals classified that day. And then that's also broken down into first, second, and third plus lactation. And then it's also broken down again into each major breakdown of classification score. Uh, so you have front end and capacity, dairy strength, rump, feet and legs, and udder are all broken down with the average score for first, second, and third plus lactation as well as the whole herd. An idea of where the herd stands on that specific day. And then over time, as you get more, receive more of these reports, you can see the change in your herd. Mm -hmm. And then we have the linear summary, which is just a spreadsheet of all the animals that were classified that day um, with all their major breakdowns, as well as their linear scores for each animal. The calving date, barn name, registration number, age of classification are all included in this report. And being a spreadsheet, this can be sorted in different views for the herd owner's preference. We then have the classification mating advisor. This is also a compilation of animals classified, evaluated that day. It takes four of the five major breakdowns, feet and legs, front end and capacity, udder and dairy strength. Rump is excluded since it's only 5% weight of the final score. And it has for each trait, it takes the lowest score and uses that trait with that score as well as the final score. Uh, so you can, the herd owner can look and see maybe where they need to improve when 
mating that animal. What characteristics to improve on. The next is the sire comparison. That has a list of the sires that have two or more daughters that have been classified in the herd, that are still in the herd. So this is based on the full inventory for classification that day, not just animals that were evaluated that day. And it has the average age of the animals that, at the time that they were classified for each sire, the average final score of those animals, the average BAA, and the percent that are good plus as well as the number of daughters for that sire within the herd. The average final score is the average score of the daughters that have been classified. And finally, we have the classification benchmark summary. This is a breakdown of animals that are within the herd on the classification inventory and not necessarily classified that specific day. You have, it's similar in the classification summary with the data that's provided of number of cows in the herd, cows, percent of cows with classification scores, and then breakdowns of first, second, and third plus lactations. Uh, there's the final score analysis for the average final scores for the whole herd, and then again for the different lactations, first, second, and third plus. The number of excellence, very goods, good pluses, goods, fair, and poor animals, and then the percent scored of each of those categories as well. A BAA analysis is also included with this report of the average BAA and then the average BAA for first, second, and third plus lactations, as well as the major breakdown analysis of average score and breakdowns for first, second, third plus lactations for front end incapacity, dairy strength, rump, feet and legs, and udder. This report also includes county and state information. And so you can see where your herd is in comparison to other herds in your county and state. When you classify, what's the turnaround time to receive these reports? It can be anywhere from the day after classification to about 30 days after classification, depending on how long it takes to process the herd uh -huh. and make sure all the animals are correct. Right. Um, and how does someone receive these reports? Uh, these reports are received by email. Okay. And then you have to have an email with us? Yes. To receive them? Yes. Okay. As long as we have the email address on file, mm -hmm. then they're sent out right away. And if someone has a question about these reports or classification, is there kind of like a hotline or where do they, where should they go to answer these questions they might have? So they can either email us at classification at Holstein.com mm -hmm. or they can call us at extension 4002 from the 800 number. Perfect. Like Amy said, you have to have an email on file with us um, to receive these reports after classification. And you can either email them or call customer service to have um, your email included on your profile. Yes. Um, so thanks Amy for joining us and telling us a little bit more about the reports. And until next time, what's up?